Hey guys, if you don't drive your Humvee very often, the batteries could go dead and you wouldn't be able to start it. You'd be in a pickle. So how do you solve for that and what can you do to prevent it? The Humvee was purpose built for the military uh, using a lot of standard Detroit diesel parts. There is no complicated wiring. There is nothing that'll... Uh, you know, cause a computer to stop running or anything like that. You have a start box, but that's mostly for um, making sure that your glow plugs don't burn up and to turn them off in time. Apart from that, the Humvee is not a 12 volt like uh, your civilian trucks. It's a 24 volt system made up of two 12 volt cells run in series, right? Now, these 12 volt cells can be slightly more expensive Duracell batteries, two of them. Or you can just buy two Walmart specials and run them in series and there you have it, 24 volts. So why would you need a $400 or a $600 charger to charge that? So let's get to the question of charging your Humvee. What do you use to charge your Humvee? What kind of trickle charger? A lot of people, when asked this question, will point you to one of those $200, $400, $600 chargers for 24-volt trucks. And honestly, guys, there's absolutely no reason to do that. So if you go to Amazon and type in 24-volt smart battery charger, this is what you'll get. It's about $36, but I've seen it go for as low as $29 sometimes. It's a great trickle charger. You just keep it plugged into your truck and uh, keep it on all the time. It maintains your battery. Your truck's always ready to go. Uh, I've used this for about a year now and never had a cause to complain. Always worked really well. So this is the unit I have. It's a Foxer. I got it from Amazon, like I just showed you. Let me show you how it works. So all you do is plug it in and it comes right on. What I've done is kept these two apart so there's no problems. And uh, yeah, it's currently off. What you see is it has an MCU control, temp detection, repair mode. When you click on that, it sort of does a pulse repair on your battery. Then uh, you can cycle AGM, car truck, motorcycle and repair. And you do it by tapping on this little mode button here, see? That's simple. Let's connect it to the truck. So I connected the positive to the positive, the negative to the negative in series. There's the whole battery. And as you can see, it's turned on car and truck mode and it is charging at 4 amps there's the temperature of the battery it's currently 29 volts 20 degrees C 29.7 volts 3.9 amps so it's variable but it's a trickle charger so it's keeping the battery topped up And I can keep it running like that all night long. When I come here in the morning, it'll be completely charged. All right, so I'm back after a couple of hours and the truck is fully charged. Look at that, 100%. So it shuts off and uh, it's still connected, but the truck is fully done. That's awesome. So that's it for me and Matilda for today. You guys have a great day and uh, keep humming. <laughs> Bye.